Well, I think after uh, certainly the, the four minute span where you know, we gave up 28 points and one of them was, uh, you know, the pick, but uh, two big plays and a long, uh, I think, 15 play drive. I think our guys settled down. You know, certainly it's it's difficult. Uh, would have liked to at least been able to to get a takeaway or two. You know, not having any takeaways, uh, being able to force them to punt eight eight times is a positive. But uh, I think that the biggest difficulty for us was not being able to take the ball away, and that's something we're trying to stress and, and really emphasize this week and continue to emphasize. It wasn't like we had a, a number of opportunities out there. We didn't get our hands on a lot of balls, and that's something we've got to do a much better job of. Brian, halfway through the season, where do you assess where this defense is right now? Well, I think our, uh, just ability of, of consistency. Uh, I think at times we've we've uh, you know showed good improvement, but uh, at other times being able to to give up big plays, not being able to create for us. Uh, you know, one of the things I talked about earlier, just us being able to to create takeaways, be able to get the ball back for our offense, and that's something that uh, I think you have to be able to generate, whether it's. Uh, there wasn't a lot of opportunities for us to try to strip the ball, bat the ball, get in our arms, getting our hands up in the throwing lanes. Those are things we need to continue to stress and do a much better job of. Michigan State, for you know, the longest time, was known almost strictly for, for its defense. But in the last season and a half, they've been really potent uh, offensively. What has been, the, I think, the lead Big Ten in scoring this year? What's the been the biggest I guess the thing that's allowed them to, to be so successful on offense. Well, I think it starts with their quarterback. He, he's a talented, makes good decisions, probably as accurate a passer as we'll see this year. Um, doesn't, uh, you know, it's been, you know, puts the ball. He's got a talented group of receivers. Uh, I think you look at their offense, and it's a it's a very experienced offense. I think they have four or five fifth year seniors, and so. While they're very, very multiple, there'll be more multiple as far as shifts, formations, and balance, empty than anybody we've we, we'll see all year. And I think you can do those uh, that approach with with older kids and uh, you know a talented quarterback that's come in and done a really nice job the last couple of years. Basically, with a receiver like Lippet who can make every play imaginable. He can outrun you. He can smash through you. He can leap over you. Um, how do you how do you approach somebody like that? Well, I think you certainly got to be aware of where he is, and uh, you know they have they have a group of receivers around him and tight ends around him that are talented as well. So it's it's tough to isolate completely on him because they've got other big play capabilities. But for us, we we've obviously got to know where he is because, like you said, he can stretch the field, he can make you miss, he can do a lot of things once he gets the ball in his hands. Do you have confidence in your guys' ability to cover him one-on-one -on -one without revealing details? I, I do. I do. I think our, our guys have, have played some talented receivers this year. And certainly, you know, we'll have ways to, you know, whether it's zone or man, we'll have ways to be able to, to help our, our corners at times. But I, I think that in college football with, with the, the, the multiple offenses, we, you have to be able to cover on the edge. You know, you have to be able to single coverage. Uh, you know, quite a bit of time, and so there's, uh, you know, we got to put our guys in positions and give them help when needed. To be a defensive coordinator in this era, I mean, Kevin mentioned about TCU was a good defensive team and gave up 60 points or whatever they, they gave up. I mean, with, with the way offense is now, how tough is it? I, I think you you just have to be you have to be sound and 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 make offenses earn it. Um, offenses these days can you know, put a lot of numbers points on the board in a lot of different ways. They'll use the whole field. And for us to, to be sound with our, our guys, keep it simple enough where it's not confusing because, like I said, we're going to get shifts, motions, unbalanced, empty, a number of different, uh, uh, you know, unfortunately for our players, the last couple of weeks, we've seen a lot of these type of situations. So I think from a preparation standpoint, uh, you know, we've had pretty good, uh, pretty good prep the last couple of weeks. So. Just, uh, you know, for us to keep it simple, yet you've got, with an experienced quarterback like this, I think you have to give him different looks as well. Sorry, man, Clark Bellin. How much confidence do you have in, in those young quarterbacks? Uh, say again, I'm sorry. How far have Richard Fant and Donovan Clark come this year? How much faith do you have in them? Because like they play a lot. They do play a lot. And, and our corners are, are very involved in special teams and, and are on the field a lot. And so to be able to give, uh, 
you know, Hunter and Bennett some, uh, some time. I think Richard, if you ask our receivers, Richard Fans probably as talented a guy as we have in the secondary as far as being able to cover. Um, Donovan, you know, being a young guy, uh, has came in and, and now that he's played in three or four games, you know, we're, we've gained more and more confidence with him. No one wants to, uh, fans don't want to hear excuses about, about uh, the performance of football teams, but I guess what, you must take some encouragement from the fact that, that <coughs> so many of your two deep are in their first, first or second season of college football. Well, I think it's encouragement, You're, and you see a lot of improvement on those kids. You know, being able to, to play a Fant or a, uh, you know, a Donovan Clark, a T. Gray Scales, uh, Greg Gooch, a lot of young guys playing. And uh, and so you can, you see continuous improvement, even T.J. Simmons. You know, we think of T.J. Simmons as a, as, a, as a vet, but he's only played about 16, 17 football games. So... Um, our young guys uh, continue. We just need to continue to have, have our older guys, you know, get a sense of urgency on, hey, time is, you know, we're coming down to the, the last half of the season and, and, and have a sense of urgency to go out and be able to make plays and, and uh, you know, continue to pick their level of play up just like our young guys are. That's something we look at as a lot as a staff. I mean, we went through and we try to, to put, you know, put, show our guys, uh, show our guys situations where, you know, we could have had an opportunity if we would have uh, tried to strip here, whether it's uh, getting our hands up. I, I think we need to, as a staff, we need to continue to put our guys in those positions, uh, whether it's drill work, whether it's emphasis. We've really emphasized third down this year. And our guys, our players usually typically will respond to what you emphasize. And we've been pretty solid on third down, but we need to need to continue to reinforce being able to take it away. In college football, you have to limit possessions. We did a great job on special teams stealing a possession, but we've got to be able to do that. Uh, we've got to be able to match our opponent from a takeaway standpoint. I think I saw a picture the other day. Um, changing a tire after the game in fact was that Michael Hunter or what happened there oh uh, coach Joseph and I after uh, after the game uh, Michael Hunter's uh, uh, truck had a had a flat tire so we were helping him change that tire but, uh, just right outside yes. do it all <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah it's a group we got a great group of young men and it's uh you know being able to help them as much as you can whether it's uh change a tire or press coverage and so it, it, it's coaching is <laughs> never changes it's just all it's all about the young men